cross The emblem of suffering and shame And I love that old cross Where the dearest and best For a world of lost sinners was slain So I've cherished the old rugged cross Till my trophies at Last I lay down And I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday for a crown To the old rugged cross I will ever be true It's shame and reproach gladly bear Then he'll call me someday To my home far away Where his glory forever I'll share And I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down And I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it some for a crown I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a Miss your voice, miss your smile, everything about you. Can you stand and take our entrance hymn, number 46 from the White Hymn? Sorry, five minutes more. You can be seated. Check.
where he stand, our entrance hymn, Shepherd of My Soul, the white hymnal number 46. Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, we gathered here to pray for our sister Valley Baptista, that God may grant her the peace of his loving presence. We shall also pray for all of us gathered here for an increase of faith in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us ask God's pardon for our lack of faith in the resurrection of Jesus and the life he offers us. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened. May our hope of the resurrection for your departed servant, Evely Baptista, may also find new strength. We, may, we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death. In order that just as Jesus Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, 
so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The word of the Lord. The psalm, take number 388. 388, the Lord is my shepherd. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples now the hour is come for the son of man to be glorified i tell you most solemnly unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it, and anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If a man serves me, he must follow me. Wherever I am, my servant will be there too. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear friends, 
today's gospel reading is a reminder to all of us of our own lives that unless we die to our selfishness here in this world we won't rise to lives of love our sister her belly also in her own way died to all forms of selfishness within her and around her and rose to live a life of love in this way she lived what saint paul has told us in today's reading that we should that all of us who are baptized will die to sin or must die to sin and rise to lives of love therefore for our sister valley her death of the physical body is a stepping stone to a life of union with god as she always desired to be in union with god by the acts of love she did so to now with the final choice that she made by her death she made a choice to live in union with god who is love all of us are reminded also of our own choice that we must make already in this world that has begun for us at baptism a choice to love to rise above all selfishness and to be the loving persons god has called us to be we are in the season of the resurrection and this is precisely the lesson of the resurrection that our lord teaches us he too died at good friday he died to selfishness and sin in the world and he also rose victorious over all selfishness and sin we too like him it is imitation need to make the effort to rise to lives love by dying to selfishness in ourselves and around us amen number 433 433 we offer you o lord divine we offer you o lord divine our humble gifts of bread and wine we place this our sacrifice may be acceptable to god our heavenly father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church look favorably on our offerings o lord so that your departed servant the valley the priest may be taken up into the glory with your son in whose great mystery of love 
we are all united. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone, he accepted death on the cross, so that we might all escape from dying, as one man chose to die, so that in your sight, we may all live forever. And so with all the angels and the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand the mystery of faith. Father, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held this body to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of your Son, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love. <coughs> Together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember your servant, Valley Baptista, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have left this world in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all gathered here, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her husband, Saint Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to the fullness of life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus. Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father with the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be free from all sin and selfishness and safe from all distress and troubles as we await in joyful hope the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace and the joy of the risen Lord. Lamb of God, we take, take away, away the God, sins take of the world. The world have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Of the world have, have mercy on, on us. Lamb of God, we take, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Dear friends, behold the Lamb of God and the risen Lord. Behold Him who invites us to die to our selfishness and rise to a life of love 
just the way he did. Blessed are all of us who accept him into our lives. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Dear friends, we shall now go through the right of receiving Holy Communion. This right is for Catholics only, that others may be pleased to be seated. Number 444, 444, what a friend we have in Jesus.
am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though he live, even though he die, he will always live. Please stand. <clears throat> Grant we pray, O Lord our God, that your servant uh, Bali, for whom we have celebrated this Eucharist, may pass over from uh, the dwelling place of light and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our sister to be buried in this human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and company of all the saints. May God give her a merciful judgment and forgive all her sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead her home safely to be at peace with God our Father and may she be happy forever with the saints in the presence of the eternal King. Just pause for a while to pray for our sister Bali that God may grant her the peace of his presence. <clears throat> Your response is receive the soul and present to God the most time. Please repeat. Receive, receive her the soul, soul and present it to God the most high. Saints of God, come to Zed, come to meet him, come to meet her angels of the Lord. Response. Receive, receive her, her soul, soul and, present and present it to God, God the, most the most high. high. May Christ who called you to take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Response. Receive, receive her soul and, and present, present it to God, to God the, the most, most high. high. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and, and present, present it to God, to God the, the most, most high. After the incensing, we shall have the eulogy. Please be seated for the eulogy. This eulogy is on behalf of her sons, Keith and Neil. My brother Neil and I, Keith, would like to begin by thanking each one of you for coming here to celebrate my mother's Valley's life. My memory goes back to our early childhood. I remember so clearly the songs and lullabies she would sing to Neil. Her favorites were Blue Skies, Away in a Manger, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Funny, she sang the same tunes 
to my son Joshua. Growing up, we enjoyed mom's favorite dal and rice, which I missed when I left home. In December 2023, me, my wife Maggie, and my sons were fortunate to have spent precious time with her when we came down for her 90th birthday. We will always treasure those memories. And we had the opportunity to once again taste her preparation of dal that I enjoyed. Our mom was the coolest person I have ever known. And I'm sure that my brother Neil and all of you who knew her would agree. She always put others first. As a young lad, I could not comprehend this. I remember when Uncle Mickey would see her coming home from work, he would say, here comes Mother Teresa. Coincidentally, her second name was Teresa. My ma our mom worked very hard, but never grumbled. She was loving, kind, cheerful, and always wore a smile and had a sense of humor. She loved watching cricket and football on TV and often came up with, com with funny comments. Our dad passed away many years ago, but we had fun times when he was around, playing cards, listening to the radio, going to mass, and sometimes watching mom dance. Me, troubling mom just for the fun of it, but she would just laugh it off. Our mom was very outgoing and had a big heart. Our uncle Daryl and cousin Duncan would refer to the Muzello sisters as Muzello martyrs. Our mom was very creative, was an excellent seamstress, made beautiful flowers of cloth or paper, and loved to sew. She tailored most of her niece's wedding gowns. I last spoke to her on April 18, the day after she passed away. We spoke about various things. She always inquired about her grandsons Joshua and Elijah. She mentioned her niece Cheryl in Beirut and asked me too to pray for her. She was looking forward to greeting her nephew Charles on the 1st of May. And on the following day, she also spoke with her sister Lydia and her brother Lester and his wife Wilma. This shows how really well and mentally alert she was. So when I, when I received a call from Daryl on the 19th, I was utterly shocked and my heart sank to hear the sad news. So was Neil, my wife Maggie and her grandsons. I thank God for blessing us with a great mother and for giving her such a peaceful end, free from suffering or pain. All of us, will truly miss her, but we will remember the lovely relationship we shared. The best gift she gave was that she directed me to Christ. God's ways are not our ways. He knows what's best, hard to understand, but we must trust the Lord. My brother, my family, and I will miss her a lot. But knowing that she had great faith in the Lord, she would expect all of us to be strong in the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that everyone puts their faith in Jesus Christ. In John chapter 4, verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father but by me only. So, please put your faith in Jesus Christ. We love you, Mom. We miss you. But we believe we will meet again in heaven someday. Thank you. Man's Mind Mass will be on 19th of May 
in the evening for the, at 7 o'clock. The family has also requested for no condolences, please. Please stand. <clears throat> Father, into your hands we commend our sister. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, she will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave her in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome our sister to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our sister forever. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for our sister to our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even if he dies. And every living person who puts his faith in me will never suffer eternal death. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. Please repeat. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you wept at the death of Lazarus. Comfort us in our sorrow. We ask this in faith. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. You raise the dead to life. Give our sister eternal life. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our brother to the joys of heaven. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Our sister was washed clean in baptism and anointed with the oil of salvation. Give her fellowship with all your saints. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. She was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a table at your heavenly kingdom. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our sister. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray to our heavenly Father with the words our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We shall now proceed to the cemetery for the last rite and the burial. Number 133, 
We'll always be together, cause love lives in our hearts. Goodbye is not forever, heaven's glory waits. Cause through it all I'm standing tall behind the pearly gates when life is gone. It's okay to cry, but love lives on. The soul never dies. Just know that I'm still with you. I'm just a prayer away. Love lives on. I'm not gone. God made a way to bring me home And though my body's gone My soul is on in a better place Cause heaven's now my home In God's perfect timing We're going to meet again I'll be flying with the angels Watching. Our Lord is called our sister from this life to himself. We commit her body to the earth for which it was made. Christ will first to rise up from the dead. And we know that he will raise up our bodies to be like his in glory. We commend our sister to the Lord. May the Lord receive her into his peace and raise up her body on the last day. Let us pray, Lord, listen to our prayers for our sister. As you always desire to do your will, so in your mercy, forgive whatever wrong she may have done. For her Christian faith, she was invited to
I saw a red bird flying high out of a sunset sky. I saw a sunflower growing wild on that old roadside. Clear as a lighthouse speaking, I could see that you're not that far away. Far away. When I need you, you'll be right outside my window. Feel your arms around me when the wind blows I still think you left too soon But I'm thankful for your time Cause heaven's lucky to have you, so was I I wish I could call you up when I mess up one of Grandma's recipes I wish we could catch up on life and such And hear you laughing at me But today I found a picture Saw that smile upon your face I knew everything would be okay When I need you, you'll be right outside my window around me when the wind blows I still think you left too soon but I'm thankful for your time cause heaven's lucky to have you so was I in the house When I need you you'll be right outside my window I feel your arms around me when the wind blows I still think you left too soon but I'm thankful for Heaven's lucky to have you God knows how much I miss you Heaven's lucky to have you So was I mm, So was I